So for two years, I've used the Acorn Char Griller. Prior to that, I used... Oh. Couple of points about the Komodo Joe. First of all, I bought this product because my very first coal griller was the the actual smoker for the char griller and I started with that because I was not confident that I could ever use coal or wood to, to light up a barbecue. I didn't even know how. All I had in my mind was, so there was two reasons why I actually did that and I apologize for the background noise, I have workers here. One was prior to my father passing away, he always used the actual barrel a barrel, a literally rusting barrel. And he used to use the grates, the grills from ovens. And that's what he barbecued on all of our lives. The best barbecues were the ones my dad made. When he actually, his health started failing, I said, dad, throw that shit out. And you know what? I'll buy you a gas barbecue. We bought him this fantastic gas barbecue. Now that he's passed, I realized that was a mistake. A mistake on my side because him doing that coal barbecue was where my memories of barbecuing came from. And I realized that that's what I wanted to do. When I went back to Melbourne pre-COVID, I actually gave away that gas barbecue to a really good friend of ours. And I bought the char griller, <laughs> literally similar look like a barrel to what my dad used to have. And I vowed that I will learn how to do this. Now I YouTubed, I did everything. I stumbled, I stuffed up, I completely fucked up. Um, I was using, you know, starter lighters. And in the end it was like, I don't want that chemical stuff on my food. How am I going to get this? How did caveman do this? This is ridiculous. How do we not know how to light a barbecue, light a fire? I mean, this is just like a basic human technique. We should all know and I didn't know how to do it. I came across Aaron Franklin on the masterclass and I joined up because I wanted to watch how does he barbecue? How does he do stuff? And it was just fascinating. I was like, my God, there is a world out there I didn't even know existed. A world that all these people have been using these, these techniques that have been literally brought down from generation to generation. This is something their grandparents did, their great-grandparents did, their great-great-grandparents did, their ancestors did. This is what humanity did. And it also comes down to the point where when I light a wood fire barbecue, I am so mesmerized by the flames. I can sit outside for hours, outside in the sun for hours, just watching those flames. And it just brings me, I don't know, this sense of comfort every time I see that wood burning. Is it in our DNA? Is it something that from our ancestors? I know that fire is what helped humanity survive cold winters to be able to cook food. These are the basic needs that we need. And I think that's why barbecuing, grilling, you know, using coal, using fire, even hunting now has become such a big thing. Why? I think we're coming not full circle not everybody's coming for full circle because there's a lot of people who are not going to kill their animals and eat it but there are a lot of us who are trying to connect what it means to eat that food that's on your plate and when you're grilling you can't be distracted by your your phone or social media or or anything because i have been distracted and i have set my steaks on fire I have set smoke alarms off, external smoke alarms in the house. I have set, I have cremated my food and it's really disappointing because when you're grilling, you're grilling. You can listen to music, yes, and you need to be there to make sure that your food doesn't catch a light like mine has more on more than one occasion. So let's go to the pros of the Komodo Joe Jr. The pros are it's got all those ceramic plates inside it, which makes it really heavy. On their website, they say that it's it's portable. Uh, I struggled moving it from like three meters. <laughs> so I don't think it's as portable as they say. If it's portable, you need to take those plates out and make sure you don't break them. 
and move it around. I think it's a heavy piece to be carrying and lugging around for, for camping and stuff. There's other barbecues that I've had that are portable and I don't think that they're as good as the Komodo Joe Jr. And if your budget does not allow you to go for a Komodo Joe Jr., go for the Acorn Char Griller. I used that for two years. So my very first barbecue, my very first coal barbecue was the Char Griller, the little barrel one, which is actually the smoker. I used that, I wanted to start with that because it was the cheapest option. I wanted to make sure that I knew what I was doing. Then I went to the big Char Griller and put the little smoker on, attached the little smoker on the side. I also got the Everdure. That's a great camping one, but it doesn't retain the heat. So there's a couple of pros and cons with a lot of them. You just have to figure it out, talk to people, find out what barbecue is for you. So when I say to people, start with the small Komodo Joe Jr. And that's because you can still do three, four steaks on that quite easily, depending on how big they are. You may be one tomahawk, but start with the Komodo Joe Jr. It has the best heat retention. It is easy to use. The stainless steel grill plate is incredible to clean. You know, that's easy to, to clean. There's, that's the pro. It's not cast iron, it's stainless steel. So you can clean that with your normal barbecue cleaner scrub heaps of soap I let it soak as a little bit too and then you scrub it and you know sometimes it needs two scrubs two two good washes for it but it comes out sparkling clean and I love that um, the other thing is is I love the shape it is so easy to to keep in a small area it's not this big bulky thing and I also can just mention that sometimes you don't need the big Komodo Joe the classic the junior is a really good starting point and if it's within your budget definitely go for the the komodo joe jr it's got the extra bits to it that you know you don't get with an acorn the acorn you have to buy the the heat diffuser but there's only one gripe i have to admit with the komodo joe jr is that it what it doesn't have that the big ones have it doesn't have the little grate cleaner underneath that you can pull out and take all your ashes out which you have to buy separately i believe which means I have to get it in from the States. So that's the only thing. But apart from that, <laughs> I love it. I've already used it twice. All I say is for people who really want to grill, people who really want to start exploring coal barbecues, go out and get whatever is in your budget. I'm not gonna tell you to buy this because I've got it and I love it and you know I'm attached to my barbecues now if you want to know a hack this is my lazy barbecuing you know the chimneys that you buy for like $20 at Bunnings or you know barbecues galore this is in Australia right so in America in Europe in Asia in Africa wherever you are Middle East wherever you are if you buy what they call a, I think it's a barbecue chimney <laughs> I can't remember it's a little chimney that you just put the coals in and it's got, a, sometimes it has a little plate underneath, a little catcher. Let me go and get one and show you. So it's been outside. I'm surprised it hasn't rusted. We live by the beach. So that's the bottom and it sits on top. You put the coals in here and I put a little, um, a little uh, tumbleweed ball and light that on the bottom, put that on top. Once your coals are heated through, I put sometimes the, the grill plate or the grate, should I say, from um, my char griller, because <laughs> I kept the little one. I kept it, or you can buy them. You can buy them from, um, um, so you can buy the grill plates from Barbecue Galore, just a small one. I think they're like $12. This is like $20, $25. And this is the hack that I use when I'm lazy and I don't want to light up the barbecue. I just put the coals in here and I literally put the plate on and I do one steak. So you can start with that. You don't have to start spending the $300 on a, a you know, I'm talking Australian prices here. So the Acorn was about $300, $2.99. The Komodo Joe Jr. is $7.99. However, it is on sale at Barbecues Galore for $5.99 right now. So in saying that, if you can't afford any of those, get this. Try this out. This is the best way. If I had known about this early on, I probably would just want to use this for a long time because as you know, I'm a lazy cook and I don't cook. People think that because I'm Greek that I cook. 
I did not get hit with the cooking wand when I was born. Not at all. But I can do a good steak. I can do a decent steak. If you like barbecuing, if you like to get down, get some coal, learn how to light that fire, get it going. This is an incredible way of doing it. The Komodo Joe for me has been like, I, I love it. And it, previous to that, I had the acorn chagrilla and I absolutely love that. This Komodo is just the next step up from the acorn and I'm happy with that and I love it. Anyway, I love barbecuing. And to be honest, I don't know anything about barbecuing. I am no Aaron Franklin or Jess Pryles or anything like that. I will never claim. I don't even know the cuts of beef. All I know is give me a Wagyu ribeye or a New York strip and that's pretty much about it. I, and you know, I'll look at sausages and make sure that there's no fillers in it. That's pretty much about it. I would love to learn so much more about the cuts of meat, um, where they come from an animal. There's so much to learn. And I think with barbecuing for me, it's more about the connection to our ancestors and to the food that we're cooking on that barbecue. And it's very primal, it's very primitive, and it's very satisfying. You know, just enjoy that char grilled steak. It's so nice. It's so different from pan fried. Trust me, you will never go back to pan frying once you've used coals and cooked your steak or your chicken or your pork chops on, and even your um, seafood on there and your sausages, whatever it is, it's totally different. It's a, it's a completely different experience to pan frying. So get out there, do it, get outdoors, you know, and enjoy grilling. So with that, love you all. See yous. Now, as you can see, I have unpacked my brand new Komodo Joe. I've been waiting for this for three weeks to come from Sydney. And um, I'm all excited. And it, the, the whole unpacking isn't so much of an issue. It is taking off all that sticky tape that's just around the base of it. That's the most tedious part. You know, someone said, why don't you use a Stanley knife and cut it? But then you're actually cutting into the steel. And because I live close by the ocean, the last thing I want to do is create little channels in that steel so the, the salt air can actually rust through it. And that's the last thing I want to do. So I decided to take the long road, the tedious road, but it all paid off in the end. It looks amazing and it is bloody heavy. And you can see where I sort of drop it and I was like, oh my God, that is heavy, trying to pop that in so watch this video and see the very end where I actually give it its maiden voyage of a steak and two little burgers
So at the end of the day, the installation and the use of the Komodo Joe Jr. is as easy as even the Char Gorilla Acorn brand. Um, I found that the Komodo Joe, because it has all the ceramic plates inside, it keeps things a lot hotter. I love all my grillers. I love all my barbecues. So I'm going to really enjoy utilizing this on a almost daily practice so and if you haven't already please hit the like and subscribe button so you can actually be updated every time i bring out a new video which i try to do weekly but sometimes it's fortnightly and thanks again for watching love you all see ya